You are listening to Win on KZKO. Check them out every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Only on KZKO The Vibe. In the criminal justice system, crimes perpetrated by those with superpowers must be handled differently. The detectives of the Extraordinary Persons Division are responsible for seeking the truth and handing down the justice. These are their stories. Crowman, Santos, come into my office. What's going on, Chief? I've got, uh, I've got a special assignment for you two. Special? What do you mean special? We are part of the Special Persons Division. Yeah, but this isn't your normal case. So, as you may have heard, they're making another Star Wars movie. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah. That's cool. That's like the first movie I saw in Germany that was American with Star Wars. Yeah, I saw it. I saw the original opening day. Wow. Yeah. That must have been great. No, it was... uh, you know, it's nice to know we can all connect on something in pop culture, even though we're several different generations. You know, the power of Star Wars binds us all, much like the Force. Yeah. Links us all together. Even think, if it's good or bad for us, it still does, yes. Ah, the Force is not good or evil, but the men who wield it are. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. But anyway, you know, movies coming out, I know... I'm excited. We're excited. But you know what? We're not so excited that we have to go get in line right now. That's right. But there are people who are getting in line. They're calling themselves Jedis. They're dressed up in robes. And they're disrupting the entrance to movie theaters all over town. Hey, Captain. Hmm. Are they real Jedis? No. But they do have the superpower of being able to wait in line for years. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, they're like bears when they hibernate, and they recycle all their waste products so they never have to leave. That's amazing. Yeah. But needless to say, the movie theaters are complaining, the citizenry, the populace itself is upset because the sidewalks are being obstructed, there are campgrounds, tents being set up, and uh, well, it's up to you two to get these rabble-rousers out of there. What's your strategy, Santos? I'm gonna yield this one to you because, uh, you know, you're in a younger generation. You can deal with these Jedi's probably better than I can. What do you think we should do? Well, I think we should, uh, you know, remind them that the movie doesn't come out for, like, another year. Yeah. I mean, go home and then, you know, maybe three uh. days before the movie comes out, you know, maybe that, maybe that's how much time it might take, but. Should we take like a medical approach, perhaps? For example, if it's over a year until the movie comes out, they'll die. They can only recycle the the food and feces and stuff for like six months, like a bear. More than that's probably not truly really possible. Well, I think let's just let's just start simple and just look at the logistics of the time. Okay. And just remind them of that and see how you know what that response is. I mean, maybe they're just not cognizant of that. Okay, let's go. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Uh, Pardu. Oh, par- Pardu. Uh, uh, Shame Pardu. Shame Pardu. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, you know, uh, the Star Wars movie doesn't come out for another year. Uh, one year, two months, three days, and four hours, to be exact. Oh, mm. okay. So you know how much time... It, there uh, is to to wait. Oh, absolutely. Shame, do you have a job? Uh, no. No, I do not. Are you just a professional Jedi? Well, I mean, uh, that implies that there's payment for being a Jedi, where there is not. Uh, the, the Jedi lifestyle is its own reward. Oh. Hmm. Are you paid in Force coins, kind of like Bitcoins, but in the Force universe? No. <laughs> You know nothing of Star Wars or the Jedi way. Well, and you don't know anything about, uh, you know, public access to, uh, to like movie theaters and, uh, you're, cause there's a lot of you here and, uh, a lot of you Jedis, um, 
And people need to be able to move around the sidewalks because right now there's so many of you people have to uh, maneuver around and they're going, they're walking into the streets yes. and, that, and that's a hazard. Um, oh, but we're here to protect them. Also, Should any cars, we'll use our force powers to protect them. What about the that's, fort that you built? I can see this fort that you built here in front mm. of the theater. That's about 100 feet by 150 feet made out of solid cherry wood. Mm-hmm. must have taken you some time to construct this. What about that fort? Uh, well, what about it? We're it's all a- very proud of it. It's very comfortable. Yes. It's actually uh, very closely mimics the Ewok city on Endor. Yeah, I can see that. Mm-hmm. I don't know anything about the Ewoks, but I can see it also takes up three lanes of traffic. Sir, have you even seen Star Wars? Hey, it was the first movie I ever seen when I came, well, when I was in Germany of American movies. Well, it sure doesn't sound like it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not up to date with my Jedi vernacular or the binoculars. <sighs> Sir, you're proving to be an obstacle to the flow of civilian uh, in pedestrian traffic. Mm-hmm. And you need to move. You need to go home. Or you, 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 you got you to gotta leave. Because, I mean, come on. You, you said it yourself. A year and two months and what, five days? Uh, four days. In four days? Two hours. Go home! What is the rush? Why? You do not want to tell me what to do. Don't wave your hand at me like you actually have Jedi mind powers, alright? I, I'm beyond that, man. You, if you're a Jedi, you're my Padawan, alright? Y- y- you, 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 you don't, you aren't telling me what to do. Have you heard of the Boip? Have you heard of the Boip? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, here's I, real powers force for you. push. No, man, that's not... Ugh. All right, you see that? That's a lightsaber. That's an authentic lightsaber, even signed by... Yes. Wow. Yeah. Oh. It's beautiful. Oh. That is real power. He pulled that out of a bag that looks like a canvas mail bag, and look at that, an authentic lifesaver. And guess what? <laughs> it's going back in the bag, and then I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. So well, well say, someone, say, you say, you, someone should take care of it. Keep it safe. Oh, I don't mm. know, but, you know, I don't think uh, taking care of it out here, you know, there's a lot of people, a lot of suspicious well, there, there characters. there must be some safe place to... Oh, make, yeah, there must. Yeah, maybe underneath the pillow like the tooth fairy. You leave a tooth fairy. Oh, I, I, I have a pillow at home. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I, I could just I could just take it home and, and you know, guard it for you guys. Hmm. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I can trust the guy that... Uh, that Try to use force powers on you. Yeah, I mean, you were just trying to push me into traffic a couple seconds ago. Uh, you know, uh, we all struggle with the dark side at times. Even Luke, when he oh. went into the cave on Dagobah. But, uh, you know, it's behind me now. So it's a good point. What you're saying is that uh, if we don't trust you, he can pull out that lightsaber again from underneath the pillow, and he'll, he can disembowel you like that Tauntaun in the cave. See, I do know some Star Wars things. Oh, impressive. Well, Jedi's honor. I will guard it with my life. Yeah, but what about all these other Jedis, you know? Well, I'm kind of the leader. They will follow me. Oh, they look like oh, Evox. Really? They will follow you, okay. Well, great job, you two. You know, and uh, I'm impressed. Sidewalks are clean. And, uh... You know, they were actually very cooperative after the whole lightsaber thing. I mean, they cleaned up after themselves very amazing. well. And, I mean, they really embodied the Jedi way, which is to... Be in harmony with nature and the universe and the people around them and, uh, to protect, you know, a righteous, righteous way of living. Captain, did you remember the scene where all the Evox are partying and celebrating after, I think it was Return of the Jedi, I'm not quite sure. Uh, yes, yes, it was Return of the Jedi, Crow Okay, man. so that's how they were, they were breaking down the little Ewok fort and they were cleaning the sidewalks, they're perfect, I mean, the sushi crate clean, you could eat there now, it's amazing what, uh, Santos did with the lightsaber to convince them to all leave. Well, you know, I will say I'm a little nervous about having released such a dangerous weapon into the public. Um, but if these guys are as conscientious, as clean as you say, well, I think we, it's a risk we can all take. And 
in the immortal words of the Jawa, You've been listening to Truth and Justice, a Richard Lupine production. After the break, stay tuned for Talking Points with Shabazz Davis. You are listening to Win on KZKO. Check them out every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. Mountain Time, only on KZKO The Vibe.